Yo, what is going on YouTube? I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Um, if you want to watch my live streams every single day, just click the link in the description, the WAP link. I literally live stream every single day and I teach what I, I uh, trade what I teach, okay? And I do a lot more at live education. So do that. The other thing is if you want to use um, an Apex account, okay, um, and practice futures that is not demo, that kind of has a little more emotion, but it's still safe, the risk is really good on them because you're literally risking $30 or whatever you buy at the account to maybe eventually get funded and, and make $2,000. So uh, if you want to practice on those, click the link in the description, the Apex link. All right, let's get started into the video. So I'm going to be going over kind of BPRs versus inversions, and this is going to just be going over a few examples of some BPRs, okay? Um and I really only use one type of BPR. Okay, so there's this. Okay, and what a BPR is, let me just go over this real quick. What it really is is when we get like a a red candle. Okay, so let's say this is a red candle. And we get some price movement down here. And then when we come back up, we get a green candle. Okay, blasting back through that, creating an opening of fair value gap. Okay, so the key is it has to open a fair value gap the same exact spot. All right. Um, if it does not leave a fair value gap open here, okay, it's considered an inverse. So this would be BPR. Okay, let's say the next candle it goes like this. Okay, this is a BPR. Just duplicate this. So BPR right here. Okay, now an inversion would be a little different. So an inversion, um, we're going to duplicate this. An inversion would be if we get this price movement, but then we get a wick down here closing like this for a value gap. Okay, now this is an inversion because when we come back up here, this fair value gap is not staying open. So it's kind of just, okay, this is just one bearish fair value gap that becomes an inversion fair value gap. Okay, so do you see the difference? Hopefully this kind of helps and points out the difference for you. Um, okay, so like you can see right here, this would be more of a BPR, but this one is not really right next to each other. Okay, you can see right here, a uh, little farther apart, obviously. Okay, the BPRs I love using are not necessarily these ones, but I love using the ones that are right next to each other. So I love when I see this price movement right here. When we get a price leg down here and then a price leg back up in the same in the consecutive series. Okay, and one way to outline this is if I do this and I go from this swing high, okay, this swing low, this swing high, this swing low, this swing high, this swing low, this swing high. Okay, what you'll notice is this fair value gap right here and this that creates a BPR. Okay, if we really count the legs that are away from each other, let me just change this color. Okay, if we count the legs, here's one leg, here's a second, third, fourth. So this BPR is created almost four legs away versus this one, these legs, let me just make this blue, these legs are right next to each other, okay? So I prefer using the BPRs that are right next to each other, okay? And those are the most that's most solid entries in my opinion, okay? Um, and that's obviously my favorite entry because when I see a formation or a V-shaped formation like this, okay, like in the 15 minute, the chances of us going to the next internal high at least are very, very high because um, it's such a good reversal pattern where you just kind of V-shape up right away. Okay, and if price were to retrace into this VPR and this price leg, it would 100% be a good entry. But half the time, we don't really retrace in these VPRs. We'll just shoot right up, um, and that's okay too, okay? If we do straight shoot up, really nothing I can do. Uh, or nothing you can do really. You just have to either market buy-in or just uh, wait for the retracement and you're not going to get an entry. 
Okay. So right here you can kind of see in the in the five minute we do create a BPR. We never really retrace into it. Okay. And it's in the same consecutive leg. Okay. And again, this part of the Ferry Valley gap would pretty much on the five minute be the inversion part because down here there's no left over left over Ferry Valley gap right here. Okay, there's no left open for rail gap. However, here there is. Okay, so that would be the BPR. Now, if I go back to the 15 minute, okay, another example of like a big difference would be, um, like right here. Okay, see how this is in this price leg right here. Get a bullish for rail gap, same leg. Get a bearish for rail gap. Okay. When we come back into this, this is now a balanced price range. Okay, this is where you look for the short. Same thing right here. This one, however, never gets retraced to. Okay, so these are my favorite ones to use. Like I said, I don't really like to use the ones that are 50 legs away from each other because sometimes they aren't as reliable for me. Um, I like to use the ones that are kind of right next to each other. Um, and you have to know where the draw on liquidity is. Okay, that's the that's another important thing. Sometimes if you don't know where the draw on liquidity, these BPRs can kind of give you a hint. Because if we do form that BPR like this, draw on liquidity is likely up. If we form a BPR like this, draw on liquidity is likely down. So if you kind of wait to see and, and watch price and we get this, they sometimes can't hit where draw on liquidity is. Okay, this one right here, most of this would actually be the inversion. There's a small BPR right here. But I'd actually consider this more of an inversion for a rally gap because there's not really a single candle filling this whole thing. And you can kind of see we were traced into it, fill a little bit, and then pop out of it. Um, another example of BPR would be something like this. Okay. Um, an inversion, again, like I said, an inversion would be something like, let me see if I can find a good example. An, an inversion would be something like this. Okay, you can see right here. Okay, when we come up right here, these two green candles, they don't open up a fair rally gap, meaning this is an inversion fair rally gap. Okay. Um, so that's really the key difference. It's that second fair rally gap's not created. Same thing with right here. Okay. Do you ever see a bullish fair rally gap in this leg? Nope. This is just a this is just an inversion fair rally gap. Okay, so that's kind of what a BPR is, and then I kind of give you some examples and versions to show you how they're different. How they're different, but um, that's what it's looking like for now for BPRs and inversions. Um, again, remember I like to use the BPR. I like to use both of them. Okay, but BPR is obviously on the same leg. I find are the strongest PD array in the market. Okay, and a lot of people already know this. I'm just kind of reminding you. So. Make sure you're on the lookout for them. Thank you guys for watching this video. And other than that, peace out.